OK, so let's say we have the graph of y is equal to f of x given by this shape here. We've got the points a, b, c, and d labelled. And what we want to do is draw the graph of y is equal to f of x minus 2 minus 1. And we want to make sure that we're labelling the points correctly. OK, that is very important. We must make sure we label it. So we need to identify what sort of transformation this is. This, of course, is a translation, and we need to identify the translation vector as 2 minus 1. OK, so the number inside the bracket changes sign. The number outside the bracket stays the same. So this shape has been translated 2 along and 1 down. So I need to redraw this shape. OK, minus 1, 0 translates by 2, 1, so it goes along 2 to 1, 0, and then down to minus 1, uh, sorry, 1 minus 1. So that would be 1 minus 1. That's a prime, I'm going to call it. OK. Point B uh, goes 2 along, so to 3, 1, and then 1 down, so to 3, 0. So let that be 2, and then that can be 3, so 3, 0. So that's B prime. Then we've got the point C, so at 1, 2. So it travels 2 to the right, so we have 3, 2, and then 1 down, so at 3, 1. So that point can be there. So that could be C prime, which is at 3, 1. And then this point here was at 2, 2, so that's gone to 4, 2, 4, 1. And that can be D prime. OK? And that's how we can translate this shape by looking at each coordinate and moving it and then joining the points together.